Hi everyone, just got in from work. I had to go buy my cleaners to get my three suit jackets. And uh, I had to stop somewhere else on the way home. But I was just thinking. That's my uh, brother in love. He's always talking when I want to do a video. But I was thinking life, thinking about life in the twist in the turns that we all get through life and something came to me when I was thinking it and I was just driving home if we will get somewhere and talk whatever we're going through with the Holy Spirit with God Jesus the Holy Spirit and not pick up a phone or text or get on the computer and do an email. But whatever might be troubling you, bothering you, or whatever might be a concern to you, not even troubling or bothering, but you're concerned about something, get somewheres and get with the Lord. The first thing, though, that we want to do, our human nature, is to call someone or to shoot somebody a text or to email someone when there's those bumps. Because we're all going to face bumps. We're all going to get uh, bruised up a little bit. We're all going to get lied to from time to time. We're going to get sick. This is life. But what we should do... When we're upset about something or concerned about something or praying about something, keep your mouth quiet. Don't pick up that phone. Don't send out an email or a text. Just stay quiet and talk it over with the Lord Jesus Christ. He wants to hear all about you. He knows all about us anyways. But he wants you to come willingly, will, willingly with a contrite heart. With a heart that's bleeding and hurting for him. Because life is not easy. It's not. There's a lot of ups and downs in life. It, it goes good sometimes. Then you go down. Then you're up sometimes. And then you're back at a medium, you know, it's going good, and then down again. So the best thing to do is to get with yourself, think before you speak, and talk it over with your higher power. Because things will turn out so much better for you and I. If we don't become that busybody calling and texting all the time and wanting to express ourselves, God wants us to come to him to express ourselves. He don't always or ever want to be the last person that we go to with happiness, sadness, concerns, Whatever it may be, God wants to be a part of our life, and we should put him first. That's all I'm trying to get at. Life is not easy for any of us. Like I said, we have our ups and downs. We have our good days, our bad days. We have our losses. We have our sickness, diseases, financial problems, some marital problems. Some are worse than others. Some are not so good at all, but let's give our children, our marriages, our finances, our health. Let's give it all up to Jesus Christ, the one who really laid it all down for us anyways. He took a horrific, torturous beating for us all. I'm just saying. I was thinking on my way home, and I just wanted to share it with you all. I love you. Now I'm going to get comfortable. Talk to you all later. Bye.